Please welcome Chris Westfall to the show. Hi. So, thank you so much for being here. First, let's start off with the definition of the elevator pitch, because I actually, full disclosure, did not know that term until I was probably 40. And as I understand it, that's when you have this opportunity to pitch your idea or to sell something to someone, and you have the time that it takes to get to the next floor of the elevator. Right. That's so, the elevator pitch. Pretty much. It, it, it's a short, persuasive introduction to either a person, like if, you're, like if you're going in for a job interview, you'll have to give an elevator pitch, yeah. or a person or a product or an idea. Yeah. So that's, that's the idea behind it. But the, the new elevator pitch isn't really trying to speechify someone in between floors. Uh -huh. It's about creating a conversation. Creating a conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you prepare to create a conversation that hasn't happened? That's a great question. And so many people think that an elevator pitch is an opportunity to talk about yourself, right? And so when I talk to my clients and I say, well, you need to talk about yourself, and they go, I don't want to talk about myself. Mm. And I say, guess what? You don't have to. Oh. What if you talk about the person that's right in front of you? What if you talk about the service that you can create? What if you talk about the values mm. that you have and how those values can create outcomes for the people right in front of you. Right, because right now we're talking about people thinking about launching small businesses. Um, this, we're, even though we're facing obviously um, economic uncertainty in so many ways because of the pandemic, many people though have seen it as an opportunity to follow a dream, to get something done that's been in the back of their mind. And you say when you're in the room, look at the person, not the idea or, or yourself. Right, because when you're focused on yourself, that's, Self-awareness, which is right next door to self-consciousness, which is not really putting your attention where it matters. I mean, look, I, I coach my clients on a Shark Tank, Shark Tank Australia, Dragon's Den in Canada. Yeah. And when you're in the room with the sharks, where do you put your attention? On them, yeah. on how your idea Here's can Here's how my life. idea can make your life better. Exactly, that's it. That's it. Do you think most of us are prepared for these moments? Because I like one of the things I trick myself to do, I have the, I, I'm myself and then I'm the person. And I say, well, I'm gonna say this and then they're gonna say that and then they're gonna say, and then by then my head's spinning. So like, do you think most of us are prepared? If we think that life is scripted or it is a script, then no, we're not prepared. Hmm. Because life happens moment to moment. Yeah. And here's the thing, if the way that you show up creates the world around you. So if you are prepared to share your story in a powerful and compelling way, guess what? Mm. People show up to listen. To listen, right. Because that's, that's, that's about your identity. That's about who you are as a human being. Not, not just a human doing, but a human being. And, and how you show up is really the key to preparation and stepping into that identity that says, I'm not here to speechify anybody. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help. I'm here to create an outcome for the person right in front of me. And that's the key to finding your next job, finding your next investment, finding your next life partner, whatever the case may be. Chris, before the break, we were talking about, you know, pitching for a job or a business idea, but it also coincides with relationships. I started off the show by saying many people right now are wishing or wanting a relationship, but then they get in the room with the person and they don't know what to say. They don't know how to present what they want. Mm. How do you... How do you prepare for that? Inside each of us, every human being on this planet, there's something called humanity. Mm -hmm. There's universal truths that, that cross boundaries of, of gender, of geography, and, and it's those universal truths and values that really connect us mm -hmm. as human beings. And so if you're interested in, in being a better relationship partner, what can you say and share around your values. What is it that matters most to you and how do you see those values showing up in everyday life? There's no guarantee that the person in front of you is gonna say, oh, I share those values yeah. or I'm curious about those values. But in my experience, when you are true to yourself, when you are authentic, that's the place where the connections happen. Yeah. That's Because that's the easiest thing in the world to, to step into is, is your own identity and right. your own values. And that's a part of, as you say, the preparation for people who are taking this next step if they want to start a business, if they are pitching something. You know, don't go in being in. It, it's hard not to, it's hard sometimes to stay true to who you are. And I even experienced that when I was pitching this show. Sometimes even on the show, I'll get a card and I have to say to the team, I'm not going to say that. That doesn't sound like me. Being true to yourself is always difficult, but it is perhaps the best way to prepare for anything. 
Absolutely, because at the end of the day, that's all you have yeah. is yourself. And and if you are being a persona and not a person, mm. that's that's inauthentic. Yeah. And and that's especially true. That's true on social media. That's true yeah. face to face. Yeah. We we have to step into who we are and and be be willing to share that with, with and. And two words that, that can make a difference when you're giving an elevator pitch and you're creating a conversation that matters, these two words, here they are, permission granted. Permission granted. Give yourself permission to step into yeah. who you are and to share what yeah. matters most to you. I love that. I love that. Well, the, the book is phenomenal. Your journey is an exceptional one. And I think, as I said, when we started out the show, this can apply to so many aspects of one's life. How prepared are you for the next thing? And grant yourself that permission granted. I love it. Chris, congratulations. The book is phenomenal. The new elevator pitch is available everywhere books are sold.